Hello friends, welcome back to Star Stylist Homestead. Tonight we are making um, steak and cheese grinders slash sub sandwiches. Um, this is from, or close to it anyway, D'Angelo's number nine. All those onions and uh, green peppers. And I'm not using red peppers because I don't feel like cutting it up. <laughs> I know, lazy. I did all these and forgot I needed that. So what I'm going to do, I have it all prepared. Look at that, all those onions and green peppers. Ooh, that was strong. I am going to throw those all in my pan right now. Get those cooking. You know what? It looks so much prettier if I put that red pepper in there. Should I? Should I just cut it up? Let me cut it off. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. It looks better. Here we go. Yeah, and it smells delicious, too. Let's get this. Look at that. Oh. Yes. I'm going to cook the steak separate. I'm going to cook these first. And then cook the steak. Matter of fact, finally got my stove cleaned from this morning. What a mess that was. I think I'm going to cook my steak in a separate pan just so that they're done at the same time or close to it. And oh, back in there. I'm going to throw these mushrooms in here because you know those are all full of water. And yeah, I used canned ones today because I forgot mushrooms at the store. Fresh mushrooms. Good thing these cook down because that's a full pan right there, my friends. Let's put some oil in here and some butter. Let me get my butter. So I have a chit chat uploading right now. I just felt like sitting there with my cup of coffee today and talking with you guys. So I don't know. That might get up there before. Well, no, because I'd have to post. So, yeah, it'll get up there before this one, most definitely. So this is a really, it's an easy. Oh, look at that provolone. Doesn't that look delicious? Hmm. I hope it's as good as it looked. Um, all right, now to butter my bread that I used all my soft butter. Oh, I do have soft butter with canola oil. Close enough, right? Here, while that's cooking, I'll let you look at me. Let me get rid of this pepper that I had to cut up and the juice that's all that is is the pepper juice so yeah I'm kind of looking forward to this I love their number nines up there and I can only get them when I go home to Connecticut for a visit which is not often enough So we're just going to butter this bread and wait till the oven heats up. By then it should be done and this won't take long at all. So do you guys enjoy these videos? Is there anything you haven't made that I've made that maybe you're trying? I know my girlfriend Linda just posted that she's making, I think it was my garlic chicken. And she said it's yummy. I don't know if it was done or not, or if she was just starting to make it. And she's a good cook too. She cooks some uh, Nor Norwegian food. Linda, if you're watching this, Post below and tell me what it is. <laughs> um, 
lots of different things. I've tried quite a few of them, or a few of them, and they were good. So yeah, Joanne, I am going to, you know who I'm talking about when I say Joanne, I am going to try that cake this week. Oops, jeez, I almost forgot that pan. What is it with that burner and me burning? Goodness gracious. It took me, because on my other video, you'll see that I boiled something today and and it overflowed just like my oil. And uh had to scrub that stove again with my blade. Okay, these pieces are literally cut. Skinny. I don't know if you can see that or not. Skinny and small. They're usually longer at the at with them at their store, but they use a different kind of steak too. And I'm going to cook this all at once. <laughs> and then I'm going to use this pan to melt my cheese. Sorry, got to wash that off my hands now. Use my towel. Um... Put some salt and pepper on these. And, of course, you want that to taste. Look how pretty that looks. Oh, I guess it would help if it was down so you could see it, huh? That does look pretty. I do have garlic, salt, and pepper, I had said earlier, um, on the meat. So I don't want to overdo it on the vegetables. Yummy, yummy. Turn those up just a little bit so they cook. And this will cook fast. I guess I really didn't need to cook this right now because this will be done way before those. Let's turn them down a little bit. I did only have one pack open because I told you when I bought these, it came in a pack of six, and two was enough for us. Well, Judith doesn't know it yet. She said, Come on over, Judith, um, that I was inviting her for dinner. But when I cut up the two, I'm like, wow, that doesn't even look like enough for the three of us. Maybe because I'm hungry because I haven't eaten today at 4.30, almost 4.30. Um, besides a few chips, a couple pieces of... Um, the sausage I had bought today. So, yeah, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, these smell so good. And I don't want to get these so soft, the vegetables, um, that there's no crunch to them, you know? That's our preference, though. You want to get them all completely done? That's up to you. All righty. I am going to slap a little bit of garlic powder on my bread. Got to be able to see here. Almost like a garlic bread, a garlic butter bread. But I don't want garlic salt. <laughs> I think that would be too much salt. So, what I'm going to do so that this video isn't crazy long, I'm going to let these vegetables continue cooking. And when we're ready to start putting this together, I'll throw that bread in the oven so that it 
cooks. And uh, I will bring you back when I start putting this all together. You see how easy it is and how yummy. <laughs> Friends, I just, I paused the video to finish doing this. And then I sent Judith a text. And just as I sent it, I was going to send her another one and say, it'll be about 15, 20 minutes. Get a knock at the door. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? She brought them over. And they smell so good. I love the flower. And this will live for probably three weeks. I don't know what it is. I think it's her touch. Every time she ever gives me flowers, they last forever. Even roses. And I can't keep roses alive to save my life. So, here we go. Look at this. I want to show you where we're at right now. The steak is done. I'm just letting the liquid go out. And these are just about done, too. And my bread is almost done. So, we're going to be putting these together here shortly. As a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is let that liquid out. I will be right back. I'm going to get this prepared so I can get the juice out of here. Okay, friends, here we go. I'm going to start my husband's first. Um, let me grab my thing here. Where are you? I'll use this one. Okay. I'm going to put some of these in this pan. And some of the steak. Then I'm going to put the cheese. Right on the top, ouch. And a small one. I'm going to put that over that. I've got his bread out of the oven. Right here. I'm going to grab my big fur spatula. You know what? I'm going to break this bread apart for him because of how I'm going to do this. Oh, those are perfect. I'm going to get our bread out of here. I like mine crispier. You guys know that though, right? I'm going to put these over here for now. That's me and Judith's. Okay. Shut these off. So keep cooking. Okay. That's perfect. Now I'm going to put this right there. See if we can do this. And then right on his roll. Yeah, baby. But what I did forget was his mayonnaise, though. So, let me grab some mayonnaise. Oh. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. Hold on. You're too far away from that. Put some mayonnaise on. I know I just dip, double dipped that into that jar. Bad girl. And there you have it. Tell me that doesn't look delicious, my friends. Toasted roll. Now I'm going to make mine so I can do a, ouch, 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 a taste test. The wind's blowing so hard. 
I just shut my front door. Okay. Sorry. I've got mine in there. Oh, listen how crunchy that bread is. I hate to even separate it. Now, D'Angelo's, they don't actually toast their bread. And I don't usually either. But I wanted to give it a try because I love garlic bread. Who doesn't? I know some of you probably don't. But I put it on both sides of my bread. And look at that. My cheese is done. I think I'll put it on the big piece. Let me bring you over here so you can see what I'm doing. Lifting that right out of that pan and slapping it right on my roll. Look at that. Oh, and that's a huge grinder, even <laughs> for me. And put Judith in here because she's going to be coming over here shortly. Put her steak in there. She's been working all day, the poor thing, in that yard. Oh, I think we need a few more vegetables in hers. Yeah, I think I did quite a few vegetables there. Taste test. Oh, I forgot to put her cheese on. Hold on. Let's put her cheese on and close that up. And do a taste test. Oh, man. Oh, look at all that gooey cheese. Look at this, my friends. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. I won't ever not toast my bread again. That is amazing. Mmm, my friends. You get hers. And then we are done. Yes, sirree. Did you hear the crunch on that? Oh, my word. Mmm. And it's so easy, friends. Well, one more. I'm going to put that bun right on there. Come through. I got all my cabinet doors open here. Oh, let's turn that this way. And put it right on her sandwich. She's going to be like, oh my word, Teresa. Oh, got to give her all of it. Look at that, my friends. How about if you look at it, actually look at it. Oh, perfect. I'm going to set that aside because I'm still going to need to do Jeffrey's. Get that off that burner. And there you have it. Do you think she'll like that? Holy mackerel. Now that's a sandwich. Thanks for being here, friends. I hope you have a great night. I hope you try this because it is phenomenal. And all I did was butter the bread and sprinkle garlic powder. Excuse me. Garlic powder on it. And it was perfect. Two thumbs up because this is amazing. And it's super easy. Anybody could do it. Even a child could do it. There's one of my chefs. So you guys have a great night. And I will be talking to you again soon. Bye.